All right. If you are having problems with your EQ showing up on Streamlabs OBS, watch this video. All right. Now, everybody has been talking about this free EQ that you can add into OBS called Reaper. There it is. Now, when you download Reaper, you get a bunch of plugins and everything for it. So simple as that. Clean walkthrough right here. Maybe not clean, but save the file. Now, I'm on Firefox, so the thing is going to appear up there in the corner right here. When you're done with that, you want to install it. So I agree. Now, next is very, very important for it showing up in OBS. For some reason, it's very specific where you want it to go. And this is the part where everybody skips over and then everyone else, including me, goes, I don't know where to find it. Uh, I booted up OBS and now my fucking sound or EQs are not appearing in my panel. This is what you do. You have to go to a very specific location to install this. Now, where you want to go is this PC. You want to go to your C drive. You want to go to program files and you want to go to common files. And that is where you'll find your VST folders. That is where you want to put it. So just put it in your common files folder and that's where it will go. So once you do that, I'm not going to install this because I've already installed it or, you know, whatever. So we're just going to boom, say it's done, whatever. It's in our common files. Now, if I pull over this folder, you'll see that there it is. It's VST plugins. You click on that. There's all the stuff. There's all the EQ and stuff. Now, right now, we're in the middle of recording this guide or whatever. So we're just going to drag in our already recording thing. You're going to click your microphone gear right here. You're going to go to filters. There's my filters. That is everything I have on currently for this. going to hit add. VST2 plugins. Test VST2. If I could get it, that'd be, you know, nice. And then they should appear there. This a five minute video where I had to watch maybe two hours of stuff just to get it to show up. Now, if I could remember the user that pointed this out, I would thank him or her, but I can't remember who posted it. A lot of the videos I watched did not tell me where specifically to install it to get it to pop up. So I hope this helps anybody that could not get the VSTs to pop up on their Streamlabs OBS. It literally took me hours to get this done and within minutes show you how to do it. So thank you to that random user. If I could find your comment, which I did look to see if I could find you again, I couldn't, but thank you. You helped me and now I get to help everybody else. So thank you for watching. If it helped, please consider subscribing. I do gaming stuff, tech stuff, product stuff that has to do with tech. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later and bye-bye.